Thank you very much, Roy. I appreciate that. That list of counties gets longer every time I hear it. I apologize for including that in the official bio. Uh, well, indeed. Uh, well, thank you very much for the opportunity to join you here today. It's uh, my pleasure to be uh, representing Governor Kasich uh, to the conference uh, today. Uh, it's, uh, it's truly a pleasure to be here. Uh, throughout uh, Governor Kasich's time in office, he has regularly challenged uh, those of us who work for him uh, to tackle what might seem like impossible tasks. Uh, he's urged us to toss aside the status quo and create a stronger and better Ohio that we all want. Uh, it's that kind of daring and determination that have led us, uh, that have led us as a state from uh, the mess that we were in just four years ago to now when Ohio's 5.5 unemployment rate uh, is at the lowest rate it's been in more than a decade. Uh, it's a matter of doing everything that we can as uh, state government as an, and as individual leaders uh, to take Ohio to the next level and create more pathways and more opportunities for Ohioans to succeed. Uh, our Ohio businesses, uh, businesses uh, including many of you in this room, uh, are the real engines for economic growth, uh, jobs, and local vitality in our state. Uh, we want to help you grow by becoming more successful uh, and eventually becoming even bigger, bigger businesses than you are now. Uh, we have made jobs and business growth a priority over the past four years by cutting taxes, uh, making Ohio's regulatory environment more business friendly through our Common Sense Initiative, uh, giving employers uh, $2 billion back in workers' compensation rebates, uh, improving infrastructure, and focusing on workforce development. Uh, the governor's vision and ultimate mission here is to create a more job-friendly climate uh, that will help uh, grow businesses in the state of Ohio. Uh, this is a tide that will lift all boats and provide uh, real benefits for every Ohioan. Uh, new jobs strengthen our families and our communities and is the number one way to keep Ohioans out of poverty. Uh, our hometown and local businesses are the lifeblood uh, of our communities uh, and we need to keep it that way. Uh, think for a minute what uh, our communities will look like without uh, the businesses that you represent and all that they do uh, for uh, not only the state uh, in your local areas but for the nation as a whole. Uh, you are such an important part uh, of the fabric of our hometowns. Uh, nearly half of Ohio's uh, private sector workforce works in small businesses. What we consider a small business is anything under 300 employees, which doesn't sound very small. Uh, by two to one, it's small businesses that have driven Ohio's comeback. Uh, given our work to improve the business climate in our location within 600 miles of 60 percent of the nation, uh, Ohio gives small businesses who locate here an even greater advantage. Uh, your businesses uh, are, the, uh, are producing the ideas uh, and are producing the economic uh, growth which, are, which is making uh, so many of the other good things uh, possible here in this state. Uh, these accomplishments are sending a loud message uh, to job creators uh, throughout the nation uh, and throughout the globe that Ohio is open for business. Uh, we're starting to get a glimpse of where our vision could take Ohio, and uh, we are working hard to make the tough and the, the right decisions for the future. Uh, but we have even more work to do. Uh, when businesses across the state, uh, including uh, yours, uh, take risks, when you invest and expand, uh, it echoes throughout our economy. Uh, it's called growth, it's called job creation, uh, and it lifts Ohio and the nation. So again, it's a, a great pleasure to be here with you today, uh, and I uh, wish you best for a very uh, good conference. Thank you. Thank you.